Hey everyone, CrashLove37 here, and I want to be the very best. So Pokemon Go is finally out after a very rocky launch, but it was really worth the wait. The app is life-changing. Any reason to go outside? Go catch Pokemon. Need motivation to exercise? Some eggs take up to 10 kilometers to hatch. Need friends? Go hit up a Pokestop or a gym. You're going to see a bunch of people playing. This is something that fans have wanted for decades, actually. The ability to go catch Pokemon in the real world, kind of. And even though the Pokemon themselves might not be real, your experience will definitely be real. I spend about maybe an hour or two every day just going out, walking around, catching Pokemon, getting items, battling gyms, and it's, gen it's genuinely fun. Especially if you have someone to do it with you. Like you're not just going around randomly walking or looking at art installations or whatever, you're actually going on an adventure. The graphics are pretty decent. Each Pokemon has a fully animated 3D model. The music is great. It was actually composed by Junichi Masuda who did the you know, music for the original games. It sounds very similar to the actual music in the games, but just like slightly off a little bit, but that doesn't make it bad. It's actually you know, really enjoyable, really catchy as well. Even the Pokemon themselves have their original cries. Not just that, but the Pokeball sounds when it rocks back and forth, the catch sound, everything is genuine. That being said, there are some problems with the app. If you haven't watched it yet, Johnny Reps did a video, a Johnny rant on Pokemon Go. You can watch it right here. And a lot of the things that he said were very valid. There's not a whole lot of gameplay, but again, it is a free mobile app, so I'm not really complaining about that. But as of right now, about almost a week after the US launch, there's still a few server issues. Definitely not as bad as it was last week or even a couple days ago, but there's still a little bit of an issue. I was trying to make this video a little earlier so I could talk about the gym glitches, where it wouldn't let you defeat the Pokemon in the gym, um, not being able to log on due to the server, things like that, but they actually just released an update patch today as of me making this video, which seemed to have fixed a lot of the server issues. Hopefully when they launch it in other countries, it's not going to mess it up for everybody. The other problem I have comes from missing features. Um, Pokemon centers, which was in every game, which is kind of a key feature, being able to heal your Pokemon for free. I think every hospital should be a Poke Center. Just makes sense. You can't battle other players. You can't trade with other players. I know trading is coming in a future update, but we haven't heard anything about battling. I think the concept of Pokemon Go is pretty genius and they implemented everything from the old games pretty well. I like how they streamlined how you catch Pokemon, how you battle them because I can't imagine being in one spot waiting for a Metapod to use Harden like 30 times before you can kill it. The game wants you to go out and explore. And the different Pokemon, the stops, the gyms, they make you want to go out and walk around. Uh, explore new places that you haven't been yet to maybe find new Pokemon. I'm not going to rate the app right now, um, we just got over all those server issues. They still have new things incoming like trading and new ways to interact with Pokestops and gyms. Don't know what that means yet, but hopefully they'll add some kind of player interaction feature because as of right now you can't interact at all with other players. So even though you have three teams, you have to go into other uh, social media apps to find other players or plan any meetups things like that so they're definitely missing out on that aspect of it so that's pretty much my review for Pokemon Go I think it's amazing um, I've been out walking every day since launch and when you're using this app I mean you don't realize how far you go or how long you're walking just because it's so entertaining to do so fantastic idea good job Niantic and Pokemon Company you got it way to go the Pokemon Go Plus or whatever that wristband thingy is is coming out soon. $30. Um, that's a lot for it, but hopefully what it does will help save battery life by not having to have the app open all the time. Or I'm not even 100% sure what it does, but hopefully it'll be worth the money. So leave us a comment. Let us know what team you're in. Uh, me and Johnny Reps are both Team Instinct. The only option. Uh, give it a like, subscribe, follow all that good shit and get out there and walk catch Pokemon do what you gotta do see you next time